Hello and welcome to my show. Uh, today I have for you an interesting uh, story, the title of which is uh, Aspirations of a Rockstar. Friends, this story is from the US. Friends, in 1983, a talented young guitarist was uh, kicked out of his band in the most unceremonious manner. The band had just been signed up for a remarkable deal. They were about to record their uh, first uh, album but only a couple of days before the recording, the band showed the guitarist the door. In other words, he was asked to leave. There was no warning, no discussion, no uh, melodrama. They literally woke him up one day and handed him a bus ticket uh, back home. As he sat on the bus back to Los Angeles uh, from New York, the guitarist uh, kept asking himself, what was his fault? How did all of this happen? Uh, what was his mistake? Did he rub someone the wrong way? Uh, such uh, stupendous uh, contracts didn't just fall out of the sky, especially for the raucous uh, upstart metal bands. Metal bands. Uh, metal bands are uh, friends, uh, they are uh, the, the rock bands. And had he missed his chance of a lifetime? But by the time the bus rolled into Los Angeles, the guitarist had overcome his self-pity. Uh, he vowed to start a new band. He decided that his new band would be so very successful that his old band would forever regret their decision of having fired him. He would become so very famous that they would be subjected to years of seeing him or seeing his face on TV, hearing him on the radio and seeing his posters on the streets and his pictures in magazines while they'd be flipping burgers in some dirty eatery loading vans from their shitty uh, club gigs obese and drunk with their ugly wives while he'd be rocking out in front of the stadium crowds live on television <clears throat> and as a sadist he would bathe in the tears uh, of his betrayers and each tear would be wiped dry by a crisp clean uh, hundred dollar bill. So these were the, th the thoughts that he was getting. Thereon the guitarist worked as if uh, he was possessed by some musical demon. He spent months recruiting the best musicians he could find far better than his uh, previous bandmates. He wrote dozens of songs and uh, practiced uh, meticulously. Uh, his seething anger fueled his ambition. Revenge became his muse. Within a couple of years, his new band had signed a record deal of their own. And a year after that, uh, their first album was uh, going gold. In other words, it had achieved a sales level meriting a golden disc. So that was the success he achieved. The guitarist's name was Dave Mustaine, Dave Mustaine, and the band he formed was the legendary uh, heavy metal band Megadeth. Now Megadeth went on to sell over 25 million albums and went around the world many times. Today Mustaine is con considered one of the most brilliant and influential uh, musicians uh, in the history of uh, heavy metal music. But unfortunately, the band <clears throat> that he was kicked out of was Metallica. So the unfortunate part is, the band that he was kicked out of was Metallica, which has sold over 180 million albums worldwide. Metallica uh, is considered by many to be one of the greatest rock bands of all times. And because of this, in an exclusive and intimate interview in 2003, a tearful Mustaine <coughs> admitted that he couldn't help but uh, still consider himself a failure despite all that he had accomplished in his mind. For he would always be the guy who got kicked out of Metallica. Dave Mustaine, knowingly or unknowingly, chose to measure himself by the inconsequential fact whether he was more successful and popular than Metallica. The experience of getting thrown out of his uh, former band Metallica was so painful for him 
that he considered his success relative to Metallica and as the metric by which to measure himself and his music career. Despite churning that horrible event of his life into something positive, when uh, Mustaine <coughs> created uh, Megadeth, his choice to hold on to Metallica's success as his life-defining metric continued to hurt him even decades later. Despite all the money and the fans and the accolades, he still considered himself a failure. Now you and I make wonder at Dave Mustaine's uh, uh, situation. This is because you and I have different values than uh, Mustaine's, uh, Mustaine has. Uh, because he, uh, we measure ourselves with a different metrics. Whereas Mustaine's yardstick of being better than Metallica helped him launch uh, an incredibly success music, successful music career. But the same yardstick later on tortured him in spite of his success. So friends, uh, the moral of the story is be content with what you have in life and stop comparing yourself with others, especially your peers. So friends, that's all I have for today. If you've liked my show, kindly share it and also press the like icon. Also subscribe the channel by pressing the red icon and don't forget to press the bell so that you are notified each time we upload a video. And for now, Goodbye and see you soon.